Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I want to show you guys Paramix Workspaces. And I think it's an amazing feature that lets you really streamline your workflow. And I'm going to give you an, a, an easy example of how it would work. Now, remember, my videos and tutorials are based around showing the beginner Paramix. There's a lot of advanced features. I'm sure there's tons and tons of ways to use it. I can show you some of them but I'm just going to show you how to dip your toe in the water. So in my session, I've got two songs. And sometimes this happens, you've got extra material, whatever, or you keep everything in one session. It really depends on how you work. But let's just take this example. So I have one song here, and I have one song here. Maybe there's just a skit, but it's a different piece of material nevertheless. So in one instance, I'd like to work on this part of the song and keep my mark in, my, my mark out, my zoom, um, whatever things I need with the parameters of the session, um, I can just control that in each workspace. So I'm going to come here to the editor tab and double click workspaces. So as you can see, I've set up three workspaces. And I've the settings that I want to retain in each workspace, I've clicked yes. If you don't want to retain it, you unclick it. So you have cursor, mark in, mark out, top track, selected track, zoom, repro connection, input connection, solo, mute, record ready, monitoring, show hide, always visible, collapse, display, automation, show peak meter size, update on change tabs layout. Now that one's pretty important because as you modify the workspace, as you change those parameters, the zoom, the mark in, the mark out, selection, so on and so forth, it's going to save as it happens. So you'll always have that last, when you switch the workspace, you'll always go back right to where you were before. So I really like that feature. Um, you know, maybe you want to have some other things change and, and, and change the workspace and keep some the same, uh, depending on what you're doing with the mixer or the editor. Um, but nevertheless, I'm showing you a really easy way to start using this. So I'm going to go ahead and change um, nothing, leave everything set to its own unique workspace and update on change. So I'm going to click that. Now I have the three workspaces and I've set up different mark in, mark out points and different zooms for just this example here. I've actually also created a key command for changing to the next and previous workstations up here on my keyboard um, with the track buttons, track, you know, previous track, skip track. Uh, I don't have a CD player, so I, that's a better use of them for me. So this is my first work workspace. I'm going to go ahead and switch to the next to see the second song. And now, I can, as you can see, I have less track, so I've zoomed in. And the mark in and the mark out followed with my workspace. I work on this for a little while and say I got to go back to the last song. I just go back to workspace one. And if I want to create something else, I want to zoom in to uh, another uh, part of this uh, sequence, I go to workspace three. And as you can see, I've got a different mark in, mark out there. So if you have multiple um, pieces of material in a single session, this really helps you to gather your edits and keep everything organized. Um, that's really it to get your feet wet. Um, there's much more advanced ways to use this, but I think that's a good start for now. So I hope this was helpful and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.